Hi. Hi, everybody. I'm actually traveling quite a lot and uh, also international. And although I'm a Belgium guy, every day I say we have the unfair advantage that we started the business in the Netherlands. Why? Because the Netherlands is the most developed EV charging country in the world. Still more developed than Norway, where we hear a lot of people talking about where one, one on two cars, new cars, is now electric. Even California, because we did a couple of things right here in the Netherlands from the beginning. They, put, they arranged interoperability between all the providers from the beginning. Most of the systems were connected, smart, where in many other countries it started with dumb stations that were not connected, and at the end, maintenance and upgrades are very expensive. Our company started in, uh, in 2010. In the meantime, we have grown quite a bit. So we are going from a phase from a startup to a growth company, but we keep the startup uh, culture. We are headquartered in Amsterdam. We are about to move to another headquarter in the Amsterdam area because we are running out of space. Uh, and we are actually in the EV charging business. There's two types of companies. There's the generalists. Those are the big companies like Schneider, GE, etc., that do billions of revenue, and they have a small division that is also doing EV charging solution. It's not their DNA, drive, passion, where people start up in the morning with a smile to only live for one focus. And then you have the specialist. And actually, the generalists, you see them pull out. I mean, GE just sold, Schneider is planning to stop, etc. And then you have the specialists, and those are companies that are purely focused on this business. There's quite a lot of them um, today. Um, and most of them are focused on the hardware side only. And there's only a couple of them that do both hardware and business and software development. And then there is a couple of companies like that. Uh, we have a, a reference competitor in the US, ChargePoint, that already burned over 120 million and just raised another 125. We are actually a Dutch company, did it with Gezond Boerenverstand, Lina Mien. We started with a, uh, a capital of 18,000 euros from the founders, and never an additional euro was invested till 2016. The company was, uh, the majority of the shares were acquired back in 2000, uh, end of 2014, early 2015. So together with Gilde, I joined and we acquired the majority of the shares, and we started to transform the company internationalize it, uh, build a new team, build a new generation of hardware, a new generation of software, etc. And so in the meantime, a couple of things have uh, actually happened. Um, if you look to our market, there's already about 2 million um, EV uh, cars, plug-in cars in, in the market on a global level. So the market is growing. Um, it's all about fun and convenience. Once you have driven an electric car, you love it, it's fun, it's really, uh, it's great. But there is uh, a concern. People think that there is not enough charging infrastructure. Um, and so th that's a big, big need. I mean, the Tesla 3 model is coming out. We just hired one of the guys from Tesla that has been working with Tesla for five years. And he says, I want to move the industry because there's a massive problem. I mean, there's going to be a huge shortage of charging infrastructure. So there's going to be a big growth, and he wants to be part of that. If you look in California, people drive, first of all, EV because cost, it, even with the, the cheap oil or gas in, in the US, it's, it's a cost saving factor. Secondly, because they can use the car lane, the carpool lane, it goes faster, less traffic jams. And thirdly, because the environmental part. And so um, that's already a, a beginning of the change that is actually happening. We are in the business because we want to drive the sustainable mobility. By, leading, uh, by bringing leading global charging solutions, both hard and software, in a total ecosystem. It's going to more and more renewable energies and, and bigger uh, productions, but also on the house. There is the, the tone device from Ineco and many others, I mean, as an Internet of Things device at the home. There's a charging station that is connected to that system. In, this, in the future, there will be battery storage. I mean, and in the, in the mid-long term, there will also be uh, wireless charging for the more premium type of uh, application because of the cost. So that whole ecosystem is going to change. It's going to decentralized, renewable type of solution, and the whole digital, digital revolution in this market is actually happening. Um, where are we today? I mean, today as a company, we are about 70 people. Uh, and good news, uh, we are hiring right now an additional 50 people. So we are really in an expansion uh, mode. That's why we need to move to a bigger headquarter. Uh, we have already offices, in, um, so we do the, the manufacture of our hardware in the Netherlands and in the US on the East Coast uh, at this moment. And we have offices in the Nordics, in uh, Germany, France, just started up in, in Spain, uh, UK, Belgium, uh, and the Netherlands as a home market. 
We are very proud that we have the largest installed base worldwide of connected uh, charging uh, devices. So we have over 50,000 connected systems already in the field worldwide, most of them in Europe though, uh, and a lot of them actually in, in the Netherlands. It's all about the hardware. We have a solution for home charging, which is a big market, residential. Uh, we have a solution for business charging, workplace charging, commercial charging, uh, at, uh, but also semi-public, and then also the public one. 100% of Amsterdam is actually uh, EV box. You see the label of New and Havens, but we are actually the, the, the engine behind, the partner behind, the same in Rotterdam, the same in Utrecht, etc. So we really have a, a very deep experience up to Monaco, and so you have major cities uh, across the world that are looking to the leading example of Amsterdam and Rotterdam. It's unbelievable. I mean, what you guys do here, this is, this is fantastic. You arrive at the airport, you see electric uh, taxis, you go to the city on every corner of the street, you have a charging station, so we drive the revolution in, in this place. The market started initially as mainly a hardware play, and it becomes more and more a software play. Today we have in total uh, 25 people in, in R&D and development. We are adding another 10 as we speak. And so uh, we are actually uh, pretty soon launching a complete new cloud-based uh, platform. So because it's becoming more and more important, the whole uh, software management, and in the later phase also the, the big data pay phase. Um, a couple of milestones, I mean, uh, as a company, we have gone, grown quite a lot in the last couple of years uh, with a very successful private equity partner, Gilda Equity Management. But, I mean, uh, it was a Benelux a private equity firm and we were playing in a glo global game and the whole market is changing. The market positions on, a, on an international level are going to be taken in the next quarters. So you need to accelerate uh, to be able to, to have your, your market position. We have the ambition to become one of the leading players in this market as a specialist in EV charging solutions, so we have to take action now. And for that reason, we actually have, we, uh, we looked at a long-term uh, shareholder that, that was uh, willing to invest in our company, and so we have been acquired by NG, NG Fab, not NG, but NG Fab. NG Fab is a division of NG that is investing in new disruptive uh, clean tech companies that really can create a massive uh, scale and also substantial big size of a, of a business that is fitting in their total uh, ecosystem. The big advantage is that we stay fully independent. It, we all stay EV boxers. Uh, we have an independent board, uh, only two people from NG and two external people. I actually picked the NG people myself that are on the board so that they can add value to, to our business. And that's the way we're going to continue. I mean, and we continue to work with, I mean, we have a great partnership. Tomorrow I'm sitting together with the folks from Ineco, I mean, where we're going to strategize on next steps. Uh, we already worked together since a long time and we're going to do even more. So, I mean, we have many other partners uh, as, as, a, as a customer. And so we are now in a phase that we really are accelerating, increasing our portfolio, renewing our portfolio. So we have finally the chance to look at an investment or maybe even M&A. Uh, but also we, are, we have finally the possibilities to really expand our team. And so that's why at this moment we are adding another 50 people uh, in the company. Another uh, topic that we're proud of is that we actually were selected by Bloomberg uh, as one of the most innovative companies and a new energy finance uh, business that happened in New York a couple of months ago. Um, and it's actually a proof of how we started from a lean and mean small Dutch uh, startup to become a global player uh, in a successful, efficient way. Um, and, and so that's, uh, that's a, nice, a nice milestone that we reached. But every day is a challenge. We continue to, to work and to, to fight every day for every deal and to grow the company in a, in a great way with the right passion, drive, and culture. Uh, so that's, in a nutshell, the, the EV box story. Thanks a lot. For me, the same. I, I have to run, so I'm sorry, but I mean, feel free to connect uh, via Jan or so. Uh, happy to help out. Thanks. Thank you very much, Christoph. And drive safely in an electric car? <laughs> yes, of course. To Brussels? Yeah. Which one? The Tesla. Tesla, okay. Lucky Tesla driver. All right. <laughs>